Good morning. Happy Friday. What a glorious Friday it is. He's not calling for Rebecca this morning. I hope he's okay because I have not heard him since I've been outside. Come, let's come down this way. Let's see if uh, Rebecca's long lost love back here is gonna crow any. So, Phoenix came over last night and Naomi was at her friend's house. So when I went to bring the trash cans back up, Phoenix came running over and came in the house and I was reminded very quickly of why, uh, well, not the why. I, I'm just gonna say that I'm kind of glad, happy, joyous, <laughs> that she did not come over on those days that I was recuperating because that child cannot be still and she nearly hit or grabbed my thumb about eight times. Uh, she, she wants to sit and hold my hand or hold my arm or she'll swing her tablet around to show me something. And I, I basically just sat cradling my thumb trying to protect it. She is so sweet though. I mean, she is just, she's a sweet, sweet child. And she says some of the absolute funniest things. Now, she's working on some sort of computer a program, I guess you would call it. It's Razzie, and it's an online learning thing. And she has to work on this every day when she gets home from school. And it, it's weird. <laughs> There's Rebecca! It's weird because it, it says something like, I saw the bees. And then it has two options where A says, I saw the bees, and B says, I saw the butterflies. I don't know. So then she hits A, and A says, I saw the bees, and B says, I saw the butterflies, or whatever it was. Rebecca! And she said, oh, butterflies. And I said, child. <laughs> You're not even looking at the screen. And I'm like, look at the picture and look at the words because she can't read yet. I said, look at the words. And she was like, oh, I don't have to do that. And I said, well, you're not learning. She said, yeah, I am, I'm listening. Okay, I don't know. Maybe this is something they do with children who are ADHD to try to get them to focus on things. I don't know, May maybe. Rebecca! Well, anyway, it got to this question about what lives underground, what animal lives underground. And she said worms. And she had to listen to both answers. And then she picked the right one. Now, in that one, I get it because it's actually asking her a question and giving her choices. But the other one where you just have to click and repeat what they said, I don't get that. But anyway, she said, well, Miss Tracy, do you know why worms live underground? I said, no, child, please tell me why worms live underground. She said, because if they don't, then they'll come up and get in the sun and they get toasted up. I said, you know what happens when a worm gets toasted up? <laughs> she said, what? I said, they turn into french fries for birds. She said, I like french fries. I said, I mean, you know, who doesn't like french fries, right? Am I right? Well, then she moved on to just out of the blue, Miss Tracy. Yes, child. <laughs> I broke someone's neck at school today. Did you now? Um, that seems a little extreme. Well, she called me a bad word. Okay. She said it's a bad word. I said, okay. I'm not asking you to tell me what the bad word is. 
She said it starts with a P. Uh, what? Uh, what? You're in first grade. Uh, what? She said, I can't say the word. I said, okay. She said, it's, it's, I said, I don't know what you just said. She said, what? Miss Tracy, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, what, it's a, it's a man that has sex with a young girl. I said, a pedophile. She goes, yeah, she called me a pedophile and I broke her neck. She said, I ain't having sex with no man. Not till I get out of college. <laughs> I said, and you get married. She goes, yes. When I'm out of college and I get married, then I'll have sex with the man. But until then, I'm not. And she shouldn't call me a pedophile because I'm not a pedophile because I'm not going to have sex with the man. And I was like, that's not really how that works. But okay. Why do these children know what a pedophile is, first of all? Second of all, why are they calling each other that? I don't know. But she said, I really did break her neck. She, I said, uh, when you say you broke her neck, what does that exactly mean? And she said, I, I grabbed it and I went, kri, kri, and I was like, hmm. I said, did she die? She said, yes. I said, oh, that sounds serious. Did you get in trouble? She said, no, because she called me a bad thing. I was like, uh, you just can't go around breaking people's necks, okay, when they call you a bad name. I mean, you know, she's, she's a world-class storyteller, and um, she probably didn't even grab the child's neck, to be quite honest. And if she did, I'm sure she would have been in trouble at school. I don't know. But I just love listening to her stories because her stories are so outlandish. I love them. That's, that's a sign of a great storyteller. It's when you can take a bit of truth and really stretch it into something amazing. <laughs> uh, my shoulder hurts. I'll be back. I don't know why. Work Friday. Work Fridays. I I don't know, Friday. I, I don't know why my Friday work day is always the absolute worst, busiest, most hectic day of the week. I don't know why, but uh, I don't like it, okay? I don't like it. And there's no way to make it any better because... It's just everything always comes in at once. Oh, uh, why's it gotta be like this? So, uh, Friday videos may always just be late, okay? They just will because work uh, gets in the way. <laughs> uh, I may <laughs> just start going to the office on Fridays and that way it might not be so bad. I don't know, but uh, Gracie wanted out, and I went and let her out, and I barely got my butt sat down in the chair, and she wanted back in. So, I get up and go let her back in, and she went and got, like, a sip of water, which there's water out there, and, like, maybe bit on two kibbles of food, and then she wanted right back out. You're killing me, Smalls. You're absolutely killing me. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> I just read a story. Uh, hold on. A Chinese zoo has admitted that the pandas in their exhibits were, in fact, painted dogs. According to the New York Post, visitors at the Shanwai Zoo realized they were being bamboozled when the so-called pandas began panting and barking. Pandas are native to China and an international symbol of the country. The, in one visitor's video, one of the pandas was visibly panting while resting on a rock in a fence, while another clip had a panda with a long tail strolling about. 
it's a pan dog, one viewer wrote, while someone else joked, that's the Timu version of pan dog. <laughs> a Timu version of a panda, sorry. <laughs> After visitors publicized the ruse on social media, the organizers admitted they painted two chow chows, a fluffy dog breed originally from northern China, with black and white panda markings. Since then, visitors have demanded their money back for false advertising. Uh, this isn't the first time a Chinese zoo has misled visitors with claims of housing real pandas. In May, the Taizu Zoo, Tai, Tai, whatever, in Jiangsu Province has also painted Chow Chows. Zoo representatives initially claimed that the animals were a rare breed of panda dogs, before admitting that such animals don't exist. At the time, zoo officials told Chinese state media that they had advertised them as panda dogs and did not intentionally mislead anyone. When journalists asked them why they invented the idea of panda dogs to cover their tracks, a zoo representative explained, there are no panda bears at the zoo, and we wanted to do this at, as, the, as a result. Blah. At the time, state media and general public criticized the zoo for also mistreating the dogs. Not funny. It is not funny at all to dye chow chow dogs to attract tourists. One commenter wrote on social media, uh, their fragile skin and naturally thick coats make them susceptible to skin diseases. However, officials defended their choice to paint the dogs, noting they weren't harmed by the dye and argued that if hu humans, humans could do it, so could dogs. Normal people dye their hair uh, dogs can dye their hair too. It's the same as hair. It is the same as hair. It's not the same skin though. See, that's the problem. To be a human, you must have thick skin. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Hold on just a moment. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. It's hot outside. And I'll talk to y'all on the next Tracy Tries. Toodles, my noodles. Stay silly, my friends, and smile. Piss people off, make people happy, or just make them wonder what you've been up to. But don't break their necks, okay?